In this video, we're going to install some shiny new mirrors. Okay, so the mirrors I've got, um, they call these um, bullet or torpedo style. Um, I purchased these from Oz Mini Spares in Australia in Newcastle. Um, but I think it was through, through eBay. He's got some stuff on eBay too. So um, I paid around about a hundred Australian dollars for a pair. So I've got a, I've got a left and right, and uh, a little, uh, another ten or thirteen dollars or something for postage. So for around a hundred dollars, you should be able to get a pair if you're lucky. Um, I've just had a look online. This is um, mini spares in the UK. Um, the reason why, because mine didn't come with any instructions. Um, there's a part number there, um, GAM107. Um, the left and the right have got different part numbers. Um, the, I think 108 is the left. Um, um, okay, so any spares, if you have a look, the thing I like about their website, they've got like the instructions. So I think it sort of just sort of shows you some diagrams of how they go together so the fittings that come with it you've got two sets here so you'll notice that this uh, one the angle on it is a lot steeper and that's the one I'm going to use um, and depending on what application you're using before this is another one so the way it works that obviously would go against the body um, this piece goes there actually no that must go must go that way so it sits like that and you drill holes into the body and then these get pushed into the hole and then I'm thinking that expands when you um, put the screw in. Because what I'll do, I'll do a test and use this one just to see how it actually mounts on. So assume that's all screwed into there. Then the actual mirror, you'll see um, that, that piece here sort of just um, actually goes that way there. And then there's a little... Um, grub screw down the end here so you need to use a allen key to tighten up that grub screw and then that's what um, holds the, the mirror on um, so if you have a look at these instructions sort of here that sort of shows you how it's meant to be used so we're going to use these ones here to give us a bit more of a um, a bit more of a slope All right, so I found another diagram that sort of shows it. it's not very clear but it sort of shows a mirror here and then there's the body panel uh, that piece of plastic goes first then that one sits on top and the screws go through it and then obviously you slide the mirror on and use the grub screw all right so let me just show you sort of how and where i'm going to mount it um, so just take you over to the car so what i actually did first was i did a few tests where i sat in the, the driver's seat and then i had my sister helping me um, and I'll just check on here because these are, oh, that's ones for the right hand side. I need to grab the left hand side. Just bear with me for a second. So yeah, you'll, you'll need to get someone to help you hold it just to get the position right. But when I sort of had it here, so that's the sort of location where I want it. Um, so it's sort of in between this um, panel here and it's right in the way, right there. And the, this um, window we have here in the Australian Minis, um, quarter panel window, um, it does open. It sort of, it gets in, you see it in the vision, but when that mirror is sort of mounted there, you do see the, um, the corner of this window in the mirror, but it's not enough to um, obstruct the view. So you can still look beyond it and see everything that's in, like the lane on this side. So. Once, once I've got it mounted up there, I'll, I'll put the camera in the car as if I'm looking at that mirror and then you'll see what I mean. Right, what I've done here on a, just a piece of scrap wood, I've drilled two holes and I sort of measured the distance between these two points. I'm just going to have a practice fitting this just to see how well that actually holds on. So these are obviously the parts I'm not going to use. Um, so I've, draw, I've done two holes. I made um, smaller holes first and then the holes larger with a seven millimeter drill bit and the distance between them is 3.75 millimeters so that's all been drilled um, so the way this would be fitted that piece would um, slide in first like that so that's flush against the panel 
uh, that piece would then go on top so you need to put it so the grub screw can anchor it in but that's the way it would go then that would be screwed into there so I'll just um, hand do a screwdriver then I'll get the power drill to screw it right in there Actually, it's not um, that difficult to screw in there, so I'm, I'm worried that um, okay, now it's starting to tighten up. I'll be worried that it wouldn't be strong enough to hold, but we'll just see what's happened. So, obviously, these sides will expand when the screws go in there. I'll just set up the drill. All right, let's just get those all the way in. So with this actual piece I'm using, there is a bit of a slope in it, but not as much as the other one. So that's how it's going to hold in. And I'm guessing the reason why they do that, it's so it doesn't, um, the metal on metal scratching, I don't know, cause any rust. But that's how that fits. Okay, so let's um, just try that with the mirror on there. So that would fit in like that. Then you'd tighten up the grub screw. There we go. That seems to be holding okay. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is just make sure we don't damage anything. We're going to use some painter's tape. All right, so next I just need to work out the position. So that's the piece that's going on this side. So it kind of fits nicely in that section. Okay, but it's, obviously it's gonna go here and I'm just gonna center it in between these two parts here. Obviously another tip is make sure on the other side of the door, there's nothing in the way. Um, Cause I don't know if the UK doors I'm assuming the, the actual wink glass may be an issue. So this one, obviously, the glass is only in a smaller section, so that winds up and down. So there's nothing on the other side here, and I've tested and checked all of that. Okay, so once we've got it marked, um, it's, it's up to you how pedantic you want to be, whether you want to just make sure it's dead level, um, if you want to get the spirit level out, or even just measure the height from that, but then this piece of trim might not be in the exact spot anyway. But um, but anyway, do do a do a test fit just to see how it's going to look. So if that's sort of going there, uh, the mirror will sit here, and just to make sure that you're happy with it a hundred percent, because um once it's put in there, it's a bit difficult to um change where its position is. All right, so the next step, once you're happy where the holes are, um, we, we want to um, like make a indentation for to help the drill get started, but I, I wouldn't recommend like using a, a center um, punch and then hitting it with a hammer. You're probably better off just pushing that in um, through the masking tape just to make a hole. And just twist it in like that, just to get a nice position to start with. Because the drill bit I'm going to start with um, will just be a small one. Okay, that fits in nicely. Um, what I might do first is just put some paint on there. 
All right, so what I've done with the paint, I've just I've got some primer and I've just sort of sprayed it inside the cap. Um, obviously, it's just a lot of effort to mix up the colour for this car, and you're not going to see this anyway. The purpose of this is just to protect um, the the metal. I mean, it's not going to be um, driven out in the rain much anyway, but we just want to protect that metal. So there we go. Okay, so now we're ready to actually um, install the pieces. Now, on the parts that I've got, you'll notice that there's two little pins on this plastic, and inside there, there's two holes for that to um, line up to. So obviously, you put that into it first and then um, press it on that way or I guess you could do it the other way but I'll just do that to make sure that everything sits how it should. Okay, um, so using the screws I would recommend just use a screwdriver to get it started. Yeah, I'd recommend just using a screwdriver. Don't use a power drill. It's not, not necessary. Unless you're very weak. But Alright, that's nice and strong on there. So, the only thing left to do now is um, install this piece. So, I've loosened up that grub screw. So, that will just slide on there like that. I haven't made it super tight, but just tight enough for it to stay on. So... There's plenty of room for adjustment in these. They've got a nice long stalk on them, and it's going to take a, a bit of effort. It's um, I love the power windows in my Jeep and my R56 Mini, um, but this will take a, a bit of adjusting to get right. But. So there we have it. That's um, one side done so far. That looks okay, I reckon. I'm happy with the position. And once it's um, once I've got the other side on too, I will sit in the driver's seat and just show you what the views are like. up now so here's the driver's side and like um that's the sort of view I see so you can sort of see the side of the car and whatever is in that lane there so um, the, the angle is good because it sort of just gets the whole mirror within that window um, obviously if this is open um, this this side you will see it obviously that little corner in the mirror but hopefully um, it doesn't cause too much problems but yeah, you do see it a bit, but you can still look past it. Now, on the other side here, the, the left-hand side of the Herky. Okay, so from that view, um, you can see the side of the car all right and what's in that lane next to you. Um, this little quarter window, if I open it a bit more like that, uh, so you, you do sort of see it in there, but I don't think that's a huge issue. You can, again, look straight past it. But like that's open a bit and you probably open, sort of open it that much to let a bit of wind in but even like that that's fine just um, one last thing i wanted to point out in case i didn't mention it earlier but the, the actual arm on these is a lot longer and because of this angle piece on that black bracket it allows it to, to sort of sit up a lot higher than what some of the other mirrors do so make sure you get the one with the long stem on it all right i'll leave it there uh, hopefully you've been able to sort of see how to do this and what's involved and I'll leave it there and thanks for watching my videos.